Okay, so in this video naman, ang pag-uusapan natin is all about using the set builder notation. So, set builder notation, uh, let S denote a set and let Px or P of X be a property that elements of S may or may not be satisfied. We may define a new set to be the set of all element X, elements X in S such that Px or P of X is true. We denote this set as follows. We have okay, x, the set of all element, and x is an element of s such that, okay, so this vertical read as such that. So, x is an element s such that px or p of x. Occasionally, okay, occasionally, we will write x such that px or p of x without being specific about where the element x comes from. It, it turns out that unrestricted use of this notation can lead to a genuine contradictions in set theory. Example. Okay, we have here example. Given that r denotes the set of all real numbers. Okay, all real numbers. And Z, the set of all, the set of all integers. And Z plus, the set of all positive, okay? So it is all positive, the set of all positive integers. Now, describe each of the following sets. So the following sets, we have the notation A, X is an element of R, okay? It's, a, it's an element of R or real numbers such that negative 2 is strictly less than x and x is strictly less than 5. For b, we have notation x is an element of z, okay, or the set of all integers such that negative 2 is strictly less than x and x is strictly less than 5. For c, we have the notation x is an element of z plus and z plus is the set of all positive integers such that negative 2 is strictly less than x and x is strictly less than 5. Now, we know that r is the set of all real numbers. Okay, so for, for set A, we have the notation x is an element of real numbers such that negative 2, okay, we have negative 2 is strictly less than x and x is strictly less than 5. As you can see here, so, is the open interval. Take note of this open interval of real numbers, okay? Real numbers is strictly between, it is strictly between negative 2 and positive 5. It is pictured as follow. So, as you can see here, this is read as uh, number line. So this is number line. So as you can see here, the right side positive 1 all the way to positive 10. To the left side, negative 1 going to all the way to negative, negative 10. So 0 either positive or negative. Now, since we are uh, in uh, open interval, strictly between negative 2 and positive 5. So, that simply means, no, yung negative 2 natin is an open interval. Negative 2 is strictly between negative 2, kaya open. So, opening circle natin. And, interval 5, interval positive 5, open interval. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, Si x natin, as an element ni real, okay, real number or all set of real numbers is between, strictly between negative 2 and uh, positive 5. And as you can see here, ang in between, no, between negative 2 and positive 5 is that negative 1. Okay, so let's say ito, ito yung negative 2, okay, comma, and positive 5. 
Ngayon, ang in-between dito sa kanila, kung makikita nyo, itong 1, negative 1, 2, positive 4. So, ibig sabihin, we have, we have here, 1, yan, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. Okay, we have, no, we have negative 1, 0, um, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, because this is in between, strictly in between negative 2 and positive 5. So, this is now the value or element of x. Let's say this is, this is a set, okay? This is a set. Now, the set of x is equals to negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, and positive 4. And that means this is the real numbers, the set of all real numbers. And as you can see here, x is the element of real numbers or set of all real numbers such that negative 2 is strictly less than x and x is strictly less than 5. So in other way, we can write is uh, we can write it as x is an element of real number numbers such that x is a member of interval negative two, comma positive five. Okay. Next we have the z. So we know z is the set of all integers. Okay. So let's find out x is an element of z and z is the set of all integers such that negative 2 is strictly less than x and x is strictly less than 5 is the set of all take note of it is the set of all set of all integers strictly between so again strictly between negative 2 and positive positive negative 2 and positive 5 so we have here positive 5 now what is in between in between negative 2 and positive 5? So as you can see here, we have negative 1, 2, positive 4. And, ang negative 1 natin, as you can see here, makita nila dito sa set. We have negative 1, we have 0, we have 1, we have 2, we have 3, we have 4. So, Bakit, bakit nakuha pa rin, nasali pa rin si negative 1, si 0, si positive 1, 2, 3, and 4? Kasi kung makikita nyo, ang definition ng ating integers, okay, ang integers natin dito is a whole number, hindi siya fraction. Wala naman tayong makikita ang fraction dito. So, it is a whole number, not a fraction, that can be positive. Observe, integer can be positive, can be negative and or zero okay so ibig sabihin since yung lahat ng ano in between negative 2 and positive 5 so na attend natin yung negative yung positive at saka zero so andito yung negative and yung zero andito yung positive lahat ng positive so ibig sabihin include sila kasi yan yung nire-required kasi x is an element of z where z is the set of all integers and all integers uh, can be positive, negative, and zero. And as you can see here, we have zero, we have zero here, we have negative, and we have positive, or oh, positive one all the way to four. Okay, so simple as that. Now, for z plus is the set of all positive integers, and as you can see here, still we have the, uh, ano, meron tayong uh, a number line para hindi tayo malito sa gagawin natin. Okay, so, Encircle natin to ng open kasi it is open interval. Yan, encircle natin ng open. So, eto. So, negative 2. No, negative 2 is strictly uh, less than x and x is strictly less than 5. 
So what is in between uh, negative 2 and positive 5? We have here negative 1 to positive 4. But since z is the set of all positive integers, and we know integers, no? Positive integers is under integer. Okay, now, we have here x is equals to the set of, or is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, the question is, bucket, ano, bucket since, um, uh, since, ano, I mean, bucket hindi kasali, hindi nasali si, si negative 1 at, at saka si, si 0. Bakit hindi nasali dito? Because since x, no, since x is an element of z plus, such that negative 2 strictly less than x, x is strictly less than 5, and, and as you can see here, in what is in between uh, negative 2 and positive 5 is that negative 0, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, but Ang bali lang, ang, ang element ni x lang na nakita natin dito is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. Tignan natin yung integer natin. Integer natin is a whole number, not a fraction. And can be positive, can be negative, or 0. Since itong z plus is the set, okay, take note of this. Si z plus is the set of all all positive integers. If sabihin, positive integers lang. So, since si 0 is hindi siya positive in, uh, integer, nasa ano siya, under siya sa integer, pero 0, hindi siya positive kasi 0 siya. Since si negative uh, 1 is not a positive integer, under siya sa negative integer, if sabihin, hindi siya positive. No? Simple as that. So, since ang hinahanap lang is z plus and z plus are positive and all positive here in between negative 2 and positive 5 is only 1, 2, 3, and 4. That simply means that x, no, lahat ng x is only 1, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4. Okay? So, yan yung ibig sabihin ng x is an element of z plus such that x, uh, such that negative 2 is strictly less than x and x is strictly less than 5. So, it is in between, in between negative 2 and positive 5, but ang hinahanap lang natin dito is the positive integer. And the positive integer here is positive 1 all the way to positive 4. And as you can see here, x is equals to positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4. Now, if you like the video, kung may natutunan kayo, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, kung may mga comment kayo, question kayo, you can comment down below, and uh, you can click also the bell button below para manotify kayo sa mga next upload natin. And ang ginagawa natin dito, ang pag-explain natin dito is uh, more on Tagalog para at least no, mas maintindihan at mas ma-explain natin ng maayos. Okay, again, thank you for watching.